Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video we are going to see how to create a mapping between the source and the target. And finally we are going to run a workflow to see how the data gets loaded from source into the target table. Now to create a mapping in the Informatica, first we have to launch the mapping designer window. To launch a mapping designer window, you can click on this icon that is mapping designer in this toolbar or you can go here on the tools menu and click the mapping designer from this toolbar, from this menu. Once you launch this mapping designer window, you will have to click on the sources table uh, folder and select the appropriate source table. In our case, this is V underscore M. As soon as we drag and drop, we see here that Informatica automatically creates two boxes. One is the original V underscore emp box, which is the actual original table. And the other one is SQ underscore V underscore emp. This SQ underscore V underscore emp is a source qualifier. We are going to talk about this table. This is not actually the table. This is a transformation created by Informatica. For every source, it creates this automatic transformation. So first of all, let us resize this boxes so that the columns inside it are clearly visible. Okay, now we have a source table and we have a source qualifier for that table. Once we have these two objects, now we should create the target object in the mapping designer. To do that, we open the targets folder and we drag and drop the target object. As soon as we do this, another box is created by the name of the table that is v underscore emp underscore target. Now as we see the original source table and the source qualifier, they are linked with the help of several lines. Each line is linking the corresponding column between the source table and the source qualifier. This similar kind of linking we are going to do between the source qualifier and the target table. So to do that, we have to select all the columns of source qualifier and simply drag and drop onto the columns of the target table. And we see all the lines have appeared here. These lines are denoting that there is a link between each of the corresponding columns. Now, what is a source qualifier? Source qualifier, as we said, as we understood is a transformation created by Informatica. So what does this transformation do? What is it meant for? This transformation is meant for any kind of change in the data that we want to manifest before it gets loaded into the target. For example, we want any kind of a filter that is applied on the data. Let's take a simple example. If we, an employee data is coming from the source table where we have 10 records, but we want only the records to be loaded into the target for those employees whose salary is greater than $1,000. So we apply that kind of a filter here. We click this, we select the salary and we say it should be greater than 1000. Similarly, there can be other operations that can be done. For example, we can select the distinct data for any column or even we can write a complete SQL, the SQL query. We can even perform a join between the two sources. We are going to see that in the later stage. For now, let us not worry about any of these operations. I'm going to delete this from here and this was just for your understanding. So I'm going to uh, leave it as it is and we will now try to load the data from the source into the target. And this data will get loaded without any 
transformation. The data will not get transformed. Let us see how the source table looks like actually in the database. If we see in the schema bank, this is the source table and this is the data for this table which has 15 records at the moment. Now when we are going to load it into the target, we have to see, we should make sure that okay, as of now this table is completely empty. So what we are expecting in this target table, we are expecting the 15 records of V underscore M to get loaded into this table. Now let's go back into the designer window. We are going to make a workflow to actually execute this mapping. After this mapping is executed, the data will be fetched from the source and it will be loaded into the target via a source qualifier transformation. But before we do this, we should save whatever we have created. So all of the data, all of these objects created, including the mapping, they will get stored into the repository. Once that is done, now we should launch the workflow manager. Workflow manager is the place from where the data uh, or in other words, we can say the, uh, the tasks are actually created, which are going to load the data into the target table after fetching it from the source. So uh, we open this uh, workflow manager and here we see that we are already logged in into this repository. If we are not, then we will have to click and uh, uh, cl uh, click on the connect. So we are talking about this folder cus underscore dev. Inside this folder cus underscore dev, we have to create a task. What is a task? Task is something that an informatica is going to perform while it is going to execute a mapping. So we are actually telling Informatica what it has to do. There are two different concepts in this particular workflow manager. One is the creation of workflows and another is creation of tasks. Tasks can be of two types or perhaps three types. It can be a session task or it can be a command task or it can be an email task. Session task is the one which is going to execute a mapping that we have created in the Power Center Designer. Command task is the one which makes Informatica understand that it has to execute a certain command. For example, we ask Informatica to create a file in a particular folder or we request Informatica to create a folder itself in some particular location or a path. And the email task, as the name suggests, it is used for firing off an automated email at a given address. So let us start with the session task. We choose here the task type to create a session. We give it some name, for example, s underscore m underscore m target. Click the create button and it is going to ask us what is the mapping that you want to associate it. We will choose this mapping that we created m underscore m underscore m target trg and we click ok. As we see here this task has got created. Once the task is created now we must create the connections to the database. The database connection is nothing but a way of telling Informatica how to read the source table and the target table. So to create a connection, we click on connections and there we browse on a particular connection. Here we have already created several connections. We can click on edit and see how and what they are. So this connection is about this bank schema. 
which has which is inside this database orcl similarly there is another connection made out by the name oracle underscore tgt here we must remember one thing that a particular connection holds true for the source object as well as the target object if both of them are inside the same database so we just click the close button for now because already the connections exist here if we have to create a new connection we will have to click this new and we have to select uh, the particular database and we have to put the username password and click ok so i'm going to close this and now we must go on workflows to go on workflows we have to go on workflow designer now we must start creating a workflow we create the first workflow let's Keep it by the name wf underscore m underscore m target. It is automatically associated to the integration service int, which is good. And then we try to bring the session object inside this workflow that we have created. To do that, we just have to click this session object and drag and drop here. Now, as we see, this is the place where actually we are instructing Informatica to run a mapping. How we are doing that? We have created a task, a session task, and we have created a workflow. That workflow one when executed in a sequence, all objects inside that workflow will be executed by the integration service. And what are those objects? Those objects are the ones which are associated to a particular mapping. So here we associate this object and we save this finally we double click go on mapping and change the connection to oracle the target and the source that we made for the target we choose oracle target for the source we choose oracle source it could be same oracle source also for the target table here because both of the tables vm target and sqvm both of them are in the same database let's click ok save it again and finally we are going to start the workflow as we see here the workflow is running it is fetching the data from the source table and it is trying to put it into the target and it now shows that it has succeeded so let us go in the actual database here we see the source table vm had 15 records and now the target table v underscore m underscore target also has 15 records so this is how we run a mapping and load the data from the source into the target. Thank you.